Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of the Pertuquiet wireless earphones that I recently purchased on Amazon. Now, branding aside, this is a pair of true wireless earbuds which promise some pretty decent performance at an amazing price. I bought these on a flash deal at £9.99, but the regular price at the moment on Amazon is £15.99. So still very reasonably priced. What we're going to do today is unbox them and then I'll be using them for a few hours and I'll give you some first impressions of how they actually perform after having paired these earbuds with an iPhone and an Android device. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, I'll take my Jerry Rig Everything knife and cut through the simple plastic tab things. And whilst we're at it, let's look at the specification. Now, I'm sorry if I'm going to be murdering your brand name, Pertukuit, Pertukit, 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 let's call them that. This is the Pertukit S10. They're Bluetooth 5 earbuds and they use USB to charge. So double unit USB means that the unit drivers in each ear earbud is double. So inside here, there is a bit of cardboard with our instructions by the looks of it, which is a single card we have lights and information here on how to pair. So all pretty straightforward. We'll focus on the buds themselves in a moment. Let's see what else is in the box. So we have a cable. In this case, it is a USB-A to USB Type-C cable. So despite the low price, they have moved to USB Type-C. And just as we are used to, there is a set of extra two pairs of silicon ear tips to enable better fit uh, depending on the shape and size of your ears. So I'll put my knife away for now. Let's focus on the earbuds themselves. What does 15 pounds, or if you're lucky enough, like I was, to find them on a flash deal, what does nine pounds and 99 pence get you? Well, it's not the best design of case I've seen, but reasonably compact and seems to be quite nice. Um, it definitely doesn't stand up and these are of the vertical variety. So if you have chunky fingers like mine, they may be a bit of a challenge to get out of the box. And they are ridiculously light. They really do feel light. So what we're going to do is carry on filling up my list of Bluetooth devices on the iPhone 12. Let's see. I'm going to long press the Bluetooth bit, go to Bluetooth settings, and see if these are visible. I'm not seeing anything as of yet. Let's open the case and long press here. Is Lizao what I'm looking for? Let's find out. Lizao. Apparently I'm connected, so let's put these in. So far, so good. Okay then, so they fit. Let's open some music on Amazon Prime. Yes, it is the earbuds. So I will go ahead and use these for a while and I'll be back soon to let you know how I'm finding them. For you'll be just a few seconds and maybe an ad break and then we'll be back. Right then, I'm back and sadly there's no way to sugarcoat it. These earphones are terrible and I'll explain why I think they're terrible now. Despite having a really nice design and the fact that they're transparent around the uh, earbud element there, they are very 
low sound quality and I've noticed that the left earbud struggles to remain connected to the other earbud or to my phone. So I end up having mono in just the right earbud with the left earbud dropping off, which is very, very disappointing. So I've tried a lot of troubleshooting. I went on to the Amazon's uh, seller's site to get some support, followed the instructions in the instruction booklet, nothing happened. I even left them on charge for uh, an hour or so to see if that could be rectified. And sadly, that didn't solve the problem. And I went through the troubleshooting again, and sadly, I was left with just the mono earbuds. So whilst the price is attractive, the fact that they have a transparent element over the earbuds uh, themselves, which is really, really cool, um, I can't recommend these. I will leave the link in the description to this video, but I can't recommend you, you buy these because in my experience, they are pretty terrible. So I'll be returning them to Amazon and getting a refund to my Amazon account. We'll probably get another pair of earbuds to review here, but long story short, don't buy these, they're terrible. Uh, your money is probably best spent in on another pair of earbuds from a slightly more reputable brand rather than the unpronounceable Pertukit. 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 Yes, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, um, I will be returning these. I'm not happy with them at all. Uh, there are better options out there. So going by Amazon reviews, there's quite a few one-star reviews saying the same thing. Sadly, don't buy these, they're bad. Right then, um, after that bombshell, uh, bad news about the Pertikit um, earbuds, I'll wrap up this video. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. And if you would like to leave any comments or find out more, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye from me.